Hello, I'm Colin Little, author of Pitlochry, A History, and I've been given the challenge of introducing the history of Pitlochry in about three minutes. So here goes. Before the 18th century, there were three hamlets near the River Tummel. Change came in 1728 when Major General George Wade, on the King's command, constructed his Great North Road from Dunkeld towards Inverness. Rather than coming through the ancient settlement of Mullen, his road came through those three hamlets. And two things happened. One was that Mullen became the first bypass community in Scotland. And the other was that uh, almost 300 years ago, the village of Pitlochry was created when those three hamlets expanded and combined. Originally named Pitcloichriach, the name meant either the place where stones cut the surface, or less prosaically perhaps, the stony place. Later this contracted to Pitlochry, with an IE at the end, and then the current spelling came in about 130 years ago, with a Y at the end. Pitlochry's many, many visitors have included St Columba, who came on his way to Dunkeld from Iona in the late 500s. The Danes, who invaded from the east coast, but who were routed at a battle near here in 903. Robert the Bruce, who tarried briefly after his defeat at the Battle of Methven in 1306. An unknown messenger who brought the plague with him when he came to visit the castle of Mullen in 1500, known as the Black Castle ever since. Donald McBean, who leapt across the River Gary within the Pass of Killiecrankie on the 27th day of July 1689, during the eponymous battle, to return here incredibly some 40 years later as one of the builders of General Wade's Great North Road. Body of Prince Charlie came through Pitlochry in triumph on the 3rd of September 1745, on his way to Perth, Edinburgh and then Derby. Robert Burns came through on 31st August 1787 on his way to the Falls of Brewer, where he wrote a wonderful poem. Queen Victoria, who passed by on five occasions between 1844 and 1866. Robert Louis Stevenson, who stayed here in the summer of 1881 and wrote some short stories. And Sir Robert Watson Watt, the father of radar as he was known, who lived here during the Second World War and indeed until his death. Nowadays, Pitlochry is famous as a tourist destination. In the 1950s, it was the first town in Scotland to have its own tourist association. It can sleep over 10,000 people, of whom only one quarter are its local inhabitants. With hydro schemes, two distilleries and a famous theatre, one can now truly say that this place is all about dams, drams and dramas. Thank you.